None of them ever had any of the early respiratory stuff. Lots of mine have died of upper respiratory. And my my um, Dumbo rat, Rombo, he, he um, died of old age. He was like three. Wow, that is an admirable so thing. I yeah. while. You just, you know. I could just tell he, he didn't lucky. have upper respiratory. I could just tell he was not doing good and he needed to put him on mm -hmm. suffering. But, oh, that, that was hard. That he was one of my favorites. We've lost uh, rats to uh, oh Zimbal tumors, which is the yep. big swell. You know, and I had that my, my was just rat, devastating. My last rat, she actually had um, a pyometra. Oh God, she had a pyometra. Um, she had a, and she was a, a young a young rat. She had a tumor on her side, and then um, in the vet said I brought her to the vet. The vet said it's not bothering her. She's doing fine. You know, just. You know, she'll have to have the tumor. It got bigger and bigger, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna bring her in again. And then they said, okay, it's time for her. She's got a pyometra as well. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, and it seems like when something on a rat fails, it's just really downhill. It depends. Sometimes, you know, it's either something that's gonna clear up relatively quickly mm -hmm. with intervention, or it's not. And then it's like, yep, one thing after another. I've had rats on um, upper respiratory medication and didn't even help. Just Genetics of pet store rats. Yeah, yeah. it's just unfortunately it's just, they're just not bred to go the the long haul. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just no sense of selecting. So, you, so you won't sell them to the pet stores? Oh God! Oh God! Oh, no! Oh, oh. Over my dead body. So or I think are you pretty good at finding them homes and stuff? Yes. And, and if I don't, they stay with me. Oh or yeah. Us. <laughs> absolutely. It's yep. uh, there's there's absolutely no way oh. that um, that we do. And I think we're probably the only breeders in the Midwest that. You know, I was when I, I I googled Dumbo rats in Minnesota, and this is um, yeah, there's I think that one. And there's Wait, hello. I thought. Hi, buddy. But Hi, yeah, buddy. I, I contacted little fuzzies <laughs> um, and to see if uh, oh, I think I've noticed them. Um, sorry, from no. about these guys. Little fuzzies. Now, who are they? No idea. They're the oh. ones that um, they're a different one. They were a different one. I think they were a little... They unless that was a go little fuzzies, unless that was for ferrets. I'm trying to think. Were they out of Hinkley? No, oh, I can't remember. Oh, it could be an old site, too. Who knows? It might be. The it lot be. of the breeders that you Google, I, I have found that, too, um, wind up being defunct. That, you know, yeah, a lot of them. A lot of people don't realize what a rattery really consists of. Sp I think one of the things that's really daunting is the fact that you can easily wind up with a litter of 15. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. Every time you breed. And <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, my God. No, I foster for the humane.